Hello everyone, welcome to Banxue's Chinese Language Learning Program. Please let me introduce myself first. 你好,我是白雪,很高兴认识你. Hi, I'm Banxue, nice to meet you. I don't know how you think about learning Chinese language, but many of my American friends said that learning Chinese language is very difficult and confusing. But just like an old saying says, you can eat a whole elephant one bite at a time, right? Well, you can do the same thing with Chinese language learning. The so first two bites we are going to take for learning Chinese language are pinyin and tone. Pinyin and tone are the two basic and also the most important components of Chinese language pronunciation. Chinese language learning is all about pronunciation. So, at the beginning of Chinese language learning, we are going to learn pinyin and tone. We still have to take one bite at a time. That is why we need eight to nine lessons to finish the learning of pinyin and tone. So, what will happen after pinyin and tone learning? After learning pinyin and tone, Chinese language is no longer difficult and confusing, and you will be ready to learn words, sentence, reading, and anything else, else you want to learn. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's begin with pinyin now. What is pinyin? Pinyin is short for Han Yu Pinyin. It is the official phonetic system for pronouncing standard Chinese Mandarin characters. Pin yin, pin means spell, yin means sound, spell sound. Pin yin is often used to teach standard Chinese and spell Chinese name in foreign publications. And it is also used as an input method to enter Chinese character into computer. Why do you need pin yin? Okay, let me give you an example. Okay. Do you know how to pronounce these two characters from what they look like? What they look like? No, you don't, right? Okay, but if I put pinyin for them, you will know how to pronounce them. This is why you need pinyin for help. This is the two Chinese characters. Okay, this is pinyin works. No yi ni yi. He ao hao ni hao. So you can see that it, it is very nice to have pin for help. Okay. Before we learning pin and tones, there are two things you need to know about pin. The first is pin is not English. Well, I know when you first time you see the Chinese pin table, you know every letter in this table, right? But they are totally different from how you read in English. Okay, let me give you examples. For example, this is my name. Okay, I don't know how you pronounce my name uh, by using English, you know, letters, a spell. But this is how pinyin works. Bo ai bai, xi yue xue, bai xue, bai xue is my name. Okay, Bai means white, Xue means snow. Okay, the second uh, example is Zhao Shang Hao means good morning. Zhao, this is how pinyin works. Zi ao zao, shi an shang, he ao hao, zao shang hao. Okay, this is the first thing you need to know. Pinyin is not English. Okay, the second thing you need to know is Chinese character has only one syllable. Each syllable has three parts. For example, ni have initial parts, n, final parts, e, and uh, tone. This one have the solid tone, so put together will be just like this. n, e, ni. Hao have initial, h, final, ao. And the tone. This is also the sort of tone, so it will be just like this. He ao hao, ni hao. 
So you may notice that initial is consonant and the final is a vowel. Okay, let's move on to tone. There are four types of tone in Chinese language. The first tone you pronounce flat. The second tone you, pr you pronounce going up. The solo tone you pronounce down and up. And the first tone you going down. Okay, please let me take R as an example to pronounce these four tones. R, 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 R. See, they are totally different, right? Why are tones so important? Because different tones with the same syllable can have totally different characters and total, totally different meanings. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, from this table, we can see the pinyin. We have the same pinyin with the four different tones. The first one with the first tone, its pronunciation is just like this. Mua, ma. This is a character for ma. It means mother. The second one with the second tone, its pronunciation is just like this. Mua, ma. This is a character for ma. It means hemp. The third one with the third tone, its pronunciation is just like this. Mua, ma. This is a character for ma. It means horse. The last one with the first tone, its pronunciation is just like this. Mua, ma. Okay, this is a character for ma. It means scout. See, we have the same pinyin with different tones. They have totally different characters and totally different meanings. Okay, please let me give you more examples of the tones. The first one is my own experience. I remember when I helped my Bible teach, uh, I'm sorry, my Bible study teacher learn Chinese. She is a very sweet and beautiful girl. I like her. One day when we met, she asked me a question. 我可以吻你一下吗? Yes, this sentence means, can I kiss you? You know how I reacted with this question, right? I didn't respond, but uh, she kept asking me the same question. 我可以吻你一下吗? So I have to do something about this question this time, right? So I asked her, her back, do you really want to kiss me? <laughs> you know, at that time, at that moment, uh, she was surprised, you know, um, about my question. But at that moment, when I looked at her face, I know what was her question. She wanted to ask me, 我可以问你一下吗? That means, can I ask you a question? So I told her about this, you know, when, when things we love to, you know, for a long time. See, when, when, they have the same pin, but with different tone. When with the first tone means ask. When with the third tone means kiss. So you have to be very careful with tones. Okay, the next example I heard from my friends. A gentleman went to a Chinese restaurant. He wanted some dumplings for, to eat, but he asked the, the waitress this kind of a question. 小姐,睡觉一晚多少钱? Yes, this sentence means how much it will be if I sleep with you for one night. Okay, the waitress felt very embarrassed and uh, ignored him. But this gentleman, he didn't know what's the problem with this question. He just kept asking, 小姐,睡觉一晚多少钱? Everybody in this, this, this restaurant laughed at him, and uh, this gentleman had to, had to discuss this question with other people. Okay, all the people in this restaurant finally figure, figured out what was his question. Okay, 
His question was, 小姐，水饺一碗多少钱？ That means how much is it for a portion of dumplings? So you can see, the same pinyin with different tones have totally different characters and totally different meanings, right? 水饺 with the solo tone means dumpling. 睡觉 with the first tone means sleep. So that's why I say you have to be very careful with these tones. Okay. So how do you feel? How do you feeling about the Chinese learning now? <laughs> do you think it is funny? Do you think it is still confusing? Are you freaking out already? Okay. Trust me. When you get used to pinyin and tones, you will learn Chinese language very fast and very good. Okay, I can promise you. Okay, that's all for today. We will learn consonants and vowels on our next class. Okay, 谢谢 thanks, and 再见 bye. See you next time.